somebody they keep the faith yeah. hallelujah keep the faith yeah. hallelujah I don't know what's going on in your life but keep the faith yeah. hallelujah don't give up on it hallelujah hold on and hold out the race is not given to the swift nor to the strong but he that endures he that holds on until the end hallelujah Everything's gonna be alright. I gotta feel everything's gonna be alright. Game of Thrones, uh, winter is coming. Amen. Amen. Leaves turning different colors and, and whatnot. Amen. Amen. Hey, that's when them, them heating bills going up, but I'm getting to the age I just got to pay. <laughs> I can't be cold. Amen. I'm just going to have to pay. Amen. Back in the day, I put some sweats on and leave the heat down, you know what I mean? 65, 60, amen, and just tough it out. I can't do that no more, amen. I'm just going to have to pay. They got me where they want me, amen. Amen. Listen, I want you to turn back in your Bibles to the 12th chapter of 1 Corinthians. Amen. We're going to talk about, we're going to talk 
about spiritual gifts for a couple weeks. Is that all right? Amen. Yes. Is that okay? Yes. yes. Amen. 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 First Corinthians, the 12th chapter, and we're just going to start our reading from the 27th verse this time. It's already been read in its context in your hearing, but we're going to start our reading from the 27th verse. Amen? Amen. 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 And it reads, Now you are the body of Christ, and members of it individually, and whom God has appointed in the church, first apostles, second prophets, third teachers, then miracles, then gifts of healing, helps, administration, kinds of tongues, not all are apostles, are they? Not all are prophets, are they? Not all are teachers, are they? Not all are workers of miracles, are they? Not all have gifts of healing, do they? Not all speak with tongues, do they? And not all interpret, do they? But strive for the greater gifts, and I will show you a still more excellent way. May the Lord have a blessing to the reading and also to the hearing of his word. Amen. 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 I'd like to just preach just for a little while today uh, from the topic, what position do you play? Uh -huh. What position do you play? Amen. 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 Let's give the musicians a hand. Amen. And of the work. Amen. 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 I hear the drummer back here. He double clitching, man. He trying to, he trying to hit. I hear, yeah, yeah. You remember? Remember back in the day, he was just hitting that one beat. You know what I mean? One, right, one, one, one beat right after the other. That double clitching back then. Now, go ahead, boy. Go ahead. That's all right. Yes, yes. Ah, man. What position do you play? Pray with me, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I ask right now that you continue to dwell in this place in the form of your precious Holy Spirit. Move among the people and have thine own way. Lord, open the hearts and the minds of this waiting congregation that they might receive the word that you have given unto your servant. Father God, I furthermore pray that you would take me and hide me behind the shadow of the cross, that they might not see me but Christ in me. Bless somebody's soul, cleanse and make them whole. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ, I do pray. Amen. 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 What position do you play? Amen. You ever met somebody that just insisted on being a one-man show? Mm -hmm. uh, folk, folk in the church, they, yeah. they, they, they don't have the sensibility or the cooperative spirit to work with nobody else. So everything they do, they want to do it on their own. Mm -hmm. Now, funny thing about doing everything on your own, that means that everything that's done is your fault. That's right. Amen? Right, right. When it's wrong. Mm -hmm. Amen? But most of us, we get the attitude that we just want to do what we do on our own uh, uh, because... We don't want to be bothered with nobody else, or vice versa. Nobody don't want to be bothered with us. Right. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, we got an attitude that that is not conducive uh, to working with others. Amen? Amen. Amen. Now, usually the person that does this is not bad. A lot of times, the person that 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 adopts this attitude, they have certain talents and they have certain abilities that that make them uh, very valuable and they're capable of doing uh, anything that they try to do correctly. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I'm not saying that, that you're bad or the person that does this is, is bad or is not good at what they do. That's not the point. Amen? Amen. The problem is, is that they adopt this attitude of, is my way or the highway? Uh -huh. Uh, you can't reason with them. You can't give them any ideas. They many times act as though they want to hear 
what ideas that you have, but then they go and do it their own way. That's right. Y'all don't hear That's what I'm right. talking right. about today. Right. Yep. They go and do it the way they want to do it mm -hmm. anyway. Amen? Amen. And many times people like that, they, that's the, the attitude that they adopt in life. And, and in most instances, it is challenging to work with such people because they not only want to play their own specific role, but they want to play everybody else's part too. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. You know, it's 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 it's, it's football season and basketball season and, and during that time I often see a uh, correlation between the Christian walk and, and, and professional sports. And this is no exception. Because in, 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 in professional sports activity, uh, you can watch this in action. In basketball, you see the hot shot. Scoring wants to score all the shots. Mm -hmm. Amen? Back in the day when we used to be on the playground, we used to call it molding the ball. Yeah. Right. Amen? You don't want to pass. You want to be the only one. Once you get, everybody know, once you get the ball, you go into the hoop with it. Amen? Because right. you want to be the one right. that's seen making the score. Amen? Right. In football, you see the running back. He always wants to be the one running the glamour plays. Uh -huh. Amen? Forget about the running plays. He want to be the one running the glamour plays. Plays and the team he thinks wouldn't be anything if it wasn't for him. Come on, talk. Amen. 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 And then in any athletic contest, especially when you get a bunch of championship teams together, you go match up some great team players. Okay. Teams don't get to the Super Bowl. Teams don't get to the NBA championship. Teams don't get to the to 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 the uh, the baseball. Uh, uh, World Series without being team players. Mm -hmm. right. Team players do whatever must be done for the team, even if they not the, what they do is not seen as spectacular. They don't show it up on the jumbotron. They don't show it in the instant replay. They gonna do whatever they do to make sure the team does what it's supposed to do. Right. Right. Amen. A lot of times when you watch football, the only people you see on the instant replay is the one that catches the ball and the one that throws the ball. Right. right. But there's a lot of other men out there on the team that, that provided assistance to make that play possible. Right. Amen? Amen. They carry out their role and they resist that temptation that a lot of us have to take over the roles of other folk. And they perform only the function that's going to gain the, the team success and not accolades for themselves. Can you imagine if somebody, uh, if, if a linebacker on the football team suddenly said, I ain't going to be no linebacker, I'm going to catch the ball and started running down the field instead wow. of protecting the quarterback? Y'all don't hear what I'm talking about right. today. But the question that I have for you today it doesn't have anything to do with uh, 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 football or the NBA, because I fully realize most of you will never make it to the NFL. Most of you are never going to play in the NBA. Amen? If some of you are like me, you never even played basketball before. And you're not built for the NFL. When somebody hit me like they hit them. I'm pulling something out. You understand what I'm talking about? Amen? I'm not built for that kind of sport. Uh -huh. Amen? Amen? But I want to ask you, what role do you play? What position do you play on God's team? Right. Are you a team player? Are you a one-man show? Are you a backup? Are you just a bench woman? Everybody on the team has a responsibility. Even the reserves. What's yours? Are you doing anything for the Lord with the abilities and the talents that he's given you? Or are you just trying to get by? Trying to do what you can. Amen? Amen. For yourself. You see, when Jesus appointed the apostles, excuse me, the disciples, not the apostles, the, the disciples, he put together a team. 
Amen? Amen. And his goal was to establish the church, very simply, to establish the church and spread the gospel. Y'all know that? Right. Amen. And each man had a position, and he was the coach. Right? Right. And when believers focus on giving their absolute best, we create a team atmosphere in here that makes it possible for this church to grow and succeed. Are y'all hanging with me? Okay. Yes. The first thing you got to realize is that there's only one pastor. Mm -hmm. Amen. I know some folk like to put themselves up like they're the pastor. They want to secretly act like they're the pastor when the pastor's gone. You know what I mean? They, 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 there's some folk that, that want to uh, think that they can tell the pastor how to do what the pastor does better than the pastor. But right. trust me when I tell you, you don't know. No. There's only one pastor. There's only one coach in the church in this there's, there's only one administrator in the church. Praise team members, you can't usher and praise at the same time. Right. Ushers, you can't sing on the praise team and usher at the same time. You got to do one or the other at one time. Amen? Amen. You, you, I'm not saying you can't be on both teams. I'm saying that you can't sing. And then when somebody comes to the door, run back there and open the door. Somebody else got to be back there. Amen? Amen. Amen? When believers focus on giving their absolute best, we create a team atmosphere. For example, it's a little play to work with difficult kids. But difficult kids grow up to be doctors. Who make big plays. Okay. But the little plays that you play. Will facilitate the big plays later on. I, yeah. I wish somebody right. would hear what I'm talking yeah. about. Okay. Uh, you can't look for instant gratification all the time. Okay. Many of you are not using your gifts. Not using your talents. Or have used your talents in the, half, in, in the past. But you stopped because you're not getting instant gratification. Every time you do something, it's not going to be somebody there to pat you on your back. That's right. Y'all better hear what I'm talking Amen. about today. Every time you read something, uh, uh, I'm not going to be there to pat you on your back and say, good, good job reading that scripture. Amen? I'm not going to be there to call your name. It's not going to be somebody there right. to make you look like a big person. It's not going to be no instant replay every time you do something in the church. Y'all don't hear what I'm talking about today. Amen? I mean, I recognize, and you ought to recognize that we faithful over a few things. We don't have that much here. It ain't that, uh, I'll be honest with you, it ain't that much to do. Amen? Amen? We got a little bit of this. We got a little bit of that. But my Bible said if you be faithful over a few things. Amen? Amen? That God will make you master over many things. Many. Many. Concentrate on executing our role in the church. Finding a role in the church that best fits our ability, that best fits our talent. Ain't no use looking at me and getting mad at me because you can't preach like I preach. But I want to preach, but you can't preach. Amen? Amen. And you get up there and get the get the stuttering and double talking and, and can't pronounce the words and, and then you forget what you was supposed to you just can't do it. Amen? Amen. So there's no use getting upset with me because God has given me the gift to be able to preach and to pastor in the church. Find out what you do. Find out what God has gifted you to do. And become a team player. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Listen, the, the, the text focuses on Paul. I'm going to move on because y'all y'all ain't giving me no amens like amen. this folks. Yeah. Right? Amen. <laughs> the text focuses on Paul. And Paul is writing to the Christians about the, 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 the corporate use of gifts in, in the body of Christ. And the essence of what Paul is instructing them is that each member of the body has a purpose and a function. Right, right, right. right. To accomplish that purpose, members are given certain gifts and talents which, when used in combination, 
with the gifts and talents of other folk help build up the body of Christ. Amen. In other words, I got to use my gifts to 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 encourage your gifts. Amen. Right. Amen. I'm I'm using my gifts right now. I'm preaching right now to encourage somebody to get involved in ministry. I'm not going to do the ministry. I'm trying to encourage you to do the ministry Amen. so that Amen. that the body of Christ might be built up. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. My job is to tell you. Right. And sometimes folk get mad at me because that's my job. Don't nobody want nobody to tell them nothing. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. And you, you can't tell grown folk what to do anyway. Am I right about it? Right. Right. You can't tell grown folk what to do. Amen. Amen. But my job is to tell you. i got to use my gifts so that you will use your Amen. gifts Amen. to build up the body of Christ. Amen. The proud, uh -huh. contemptuous spirit that you see all in the secular world should not exist when it comes to spiritual gifts. The Bible condemns that kind of thing. Don't run around talking about because uh, you can sing a little bit how how much better you are than this person or how much more important you are to the church than this person. Mm -hmm. It helps the church, you know, if you if you can play an instrument or you can Amen. sing a song or or do something like that. But don't think you're oh you don't hear what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Don't think that you're not expendable. That's right, right. right. That the church can't go on without you. Right. Amen? Right. Right. The offices and gifts or favors, some translations uh, are call them, uh, are by the Spirit of God. They're noticed in the Bible. Chief among them are ministers, persons enabled to interpret Scripture. Those who labor in the word and in the doctrine to make sure that the church stays on track when it comes to religious and and and, and, and spiritual thought and 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 deed and accomplishment in the church. It talks about those who have the power to heal diseases. All right. Folk that help the sick and the weak. It talks about folk that manage money, <clears throat> given to in charity or manage the, the physical affairs of the church or the secular affairs of the church or, or those who speak in diverse languages. The gifts are not ranked, one not more powerful than the other. Mm -hmm. But the truth for you to remember is that God distributes gifts to everyone as he will. If he chooses to give one person a gift and not another, that's God's choice. Right. Don't argue with me because you can't sing like I sing. Y'all don't hear what I'm talking about no, today. Uh, God gives gifts uh, the way he wills. Mm. Amen? Amen? Gifts are distributed because of a believer's life purpose and the purpose that he's supposed to fulfill for God. Yes. And that purpose consequently, is only really known by God. Right. Well, I might be able to give you a, 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 a some guidance as to which way you should go, or I might see certain talents, or, or there might be some potential in some area, and I might be able as a pastor to lead you in that direction, but the real purpose for your life is only known by God. The real purpose for your gifts is only known by God. Right. And then you got to understand that you got to be content with your gifts. Amen? Amen. And you got to be content with other folks' gifts. Amen. Paul told the Corinthians that we must not be envious of others who have gifts we don't have. That's right. Amen? Amen. And sometimes in the church it can seem like some gifts are more valuable than others. You know, everybody wants to get up and be seen. Be heard. Truth be told, some folk that's that's being heard need to sit down. That's right. Amen. Amen. And some folk that's sitting down need to get up. Amen. Talk about it. Well, you need to play your position, and your position is going to require a few things. The first thing your position requires is humility. Amen. 
If you look at a winning team, the coach has one, they all have one thing in common. They instill a sense of team rather than individually pointing out certain players. Y'all heard before, I, there's no I in team. Right. Yes. Amen. Amen. The idea is to instill humility in the players. I need you, you need me. We're all a part of one body. Y'all heard the song, haven't you? Right. Amen. Amen. To successfully function as a part of the church, members, you got to humble yourself mm. and understand that you can't win this battle with Satan alone. Yes. I can't win the battle with Satan that Satan's trying to fight with you alone. And you can't win your battle with Satan alone. Amen? Amen. Amen. That means everybody's got to assume the attitude, I can't do it by myself. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? I'm an instrument of God. I'm in his hands. Yes. I don't have any power on my own. Amen. Oh, I can pray for you, but my power is from the Lord. Yes. The power of my prayer is from the Lord. The power of my preaching is from the Lord. Yes. Yes. And if yes. you're going to succeed in the work of the church, the first thing you got to do is admit your weakness. Yes. Amen. Amen. You know what anybody, anybody that's, uh, there's a few of us in here, anybody here that's been through AA? Or NA, you understand the first thing you got to do before you can move up is to admit that you are powerless. Right. Amen? Amen. Amen. Listen, I don't know about you, but I just want Jesus to walk with me. Yes. All yes. along this journey that I'm taking to try to do his will, I just yes. want Jesus to walk with me. Yes. Amen. 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 And then. You know, you got to realize that you're a big part of the picture. All right. Mm. You know, some folk don't realize how big of a part of the picture they really are. Amen. You know, I, I talk about it all the time, you know, but there, there are certain people that, 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 that when they're gone, you just miss them. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Right. You look around, where are they, you know? Right. You, 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 you automatically uh, move past their seat and don't sit in their seat because you know they're probably coming. Amen. You know what I'm talking about? Amen. Uh, they're there all the time. They're, they're faithful. Amen. Right. Amen. But, but, but those who are successful at building, if we're going to be successful at building this thing, you got to take pride in the part that you play for the kingdom of God. Amen. Some of y'all come one Sunday a month, but you won't miss one day of work. You got sick days piled up. Y'all don't hear what I'm talking about today. You got sick days piled up, vacation days piled up, but 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 you come to church once a month and you won't miss not one day of work. Wow. Amen. Amen. You gotta be proud. Take pride in the work that you do for the kingdom. Yes. And then you know what gets me? You don't come. For three months, and then you come with your little white uniform on and get mad because somebody else ushered in, 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 in your spot. You got to be kidding me. Amen? Amen. Amen. Talk about it, brother. Well, Talk about well, it. You may not be preachers. You may not be worship leaders. You might not be elders or, or, or anything else that you see all the time up front in the church, but you're still a part of the unit that helps. Get the gospel Amen. message across. Amen. Amen. Yeah. For example, Amen. when a man joins the military, Amen, he operates under the colors of the unit mm -hmm. that that he that he joined. All right. Like like, like uh, 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 the shield tells the story. The shield on his arm tells the story. If he's in a bomber squadron, they have a bomb on there that lets folk know that he's a part of the bomber squadron and he has to go for 100 or 200 days of training uh, to make sure that he's good at what he does. Mm -hmm. And even the folk that just take care of the planes, they have to go for training. Amen? Amen. Because you want to do your job the best that you possibly can. A soldier learns quickly that you're a part of the team. They walk together. Amen? That's right, man. They take the left step and the right step at the left, right, left, right. Amen? Right, right. Amen. Platoon, halt. Everybody stop at one time. Amen? Amen? Nobody don't move until they say dismiss because they want them to realize that they're all a part of the team. That's right. Amen? Amen. Amen. 
And if you're on God's kingdom building team, you're part of a gospel movement that came long before you. You're part of a movement that included Abel and Enoch and Noah and Abraham and Moses and hundreds of other patriarchs. And I don't know about you, but I proudly hold up the blood-stained banner of Christ. And I walk my position and work my position. And I can be in the rank and file or I can be up here preaching on Sunday morning. But I know one thing. My life belongs to Christ. Amen. Amen. I may only be a dot in the big picture. Mm -hmm. You know, when I get to heaven, it ain't going to be like, you know, uh, no fanfare. Amen. Ain't going to be no bunch of folk trying to get an autograph. Pastor Harris is here. Pastor Harris is here. <laughs> it ain't going to be none of that. Amen? Yeah. I'm just a dot in the big picture. Y'all hear what I'm talking about? Yeah. When I walk in, ain't nobody even going to notice me. Amen? They might ask me for ID. Amen? <laughs> but the mission of saving the world is a big picture thing mm -hmm. that requires all the dots to come together so we can do this thing. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. Lastly, I just want you to know that your work is essential. You know, occasionally, you know, when we look at the news, we see the U.S. government gets in a bind and the government shuts down. Mm. And all the employees, they get furloughed, they tell them, just stay home, we can't afford to pay you, you know. Wow. Except for what they call essential employees. I know that is. I'm one of those. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Other folks stay home, I still got to go to work. Uh -huh. Amen. Right. Soldiers, is, there's a few of us. Soldiers, air traffic controllers, mm -hmm. police, or law enforcement of any kind, and, and, and all of your safety personnel, firemen and people like that, they're considered essential employees. Mm -hmm. That wouldn't work in kingdom building because right. everybody's an essential employee. Amen. 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 Amen? The role of everybody sitting in this church is essential to the growth and to the operation of this church. You've seen it in many walks of life. In sports, a lot of players who are not superstars, they're the ones that help win the game. No. Amen? Amen? The kicker, the little lowly kicker, can be the one that takes the team to the Super Bowl. Am I right about it? Amen. I've seen it before. I don't want to talk yeah. about it now, but I've seen it. <laughs> I've seen it before. Uh -huh. Even the water boy is essential. Yes. Yeah. All he's doing is giving out Gatorade, but he's keeping things moving. Right. And the cheerleaders, the cheerleaders are such an essential part of the team. Y'all mm -hmm. y'all probably don't see them on TV, but you know the cheerleaders, they get a Super Bowl ring just like every player. Amen. Because they're an essential part of the team. They've been there. They've flown to all the cities. They've supported the guys. They, they've done everything right alongside of the superstars. Nobody might not see them. You might not know any of their names. But they get a Super Bowl ring at the end of the season just like anybody else on the team. All right. Amen? Amen? Amen. Teacher runs the classroom, but the janitors keep it clean. That's right. The cooks keep the kids fed. They're all a part of the team that makes the educational system work. In the Bible, Elijah was, was celebrated for bravery. Preached a bunch of sermons to a wicked king, and then he had to run when the king got mad at him. Amen. Amen. And he ran, and he got he he went to hide down by the brook. And every day these birds, these ravens came, and they they bought him pieces of meat and just dropped it. Amen. Amen. And while he was hiding by that brook, those little birds, those ravens, sustained him. These were little birds, ravens. They had a challenge to take care of a grown man. Amen? Amen. Amen. The ravens by the brook made the mountaintop challenge that Elijah had possible. Yes. There's a bunch of little ravens. And many people don't talk about the ravens too much. They don't preach about the ravens too much. But you need to take comfort in the knowledge that God notices every little thing that you do for this church. Every time you do something in this church, God makes a note of it. Nothing you do in this church goes unnoticed. All right. He that overcometh shall inherit all things. Whenever you begin to think of yourself as non-essential in this church, you should remember the words 
of the songwriter, may the work I've done speak for me. The lyrics say, the work I've done seems so small, sometimes they seem like, seem like nothing at all. When I stand before my God, I want to hear him say, well done. May the work I've done speak for me. Brothers and sisters, we got an ultimate goal. We should keep in mind that the ultimate goal is service to the kingdom. Yes. To win the victory against Satan. Yes. And yes. establish this kingdom right down here on earth oh, for yes. eternity. Yes. Yes. The greatest coaches in the NFL and NBA, as well as boxing trainers, hockey coaches, they all have one message. Keep your eye on the goal. Oh, yeah. You're going to be successful if you keep your eye on the goal. Keep it on the goal. It's not just what you do, but you got to know why you do what you do. You got to keep your eye on the prize. Yes, yes. Christ told the disciples the same thing. That in the kingdom of heaven, the ultimate goal is that you got to keep your eye on the prize. Yes, yes, yes. Serving in the kingdom you got to fight the battle for the heart and the soul of those that are lost in your family, yes, those that yes. are lost in your community, your soldiers in the army of the Lord. That's why I sing it all the time. I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. Yes, sir. I promised him that I would serve him until I die. And I'm on the battlefield for the Lord. You answer the call of service, you got to be humble servants. Because every now and then you ain't going to get no paycheck. Oh, yes, Lord. But let me tell you something. God is going to shower you with rewards. Oh, yeah. The rewards you receive are going to reflect the level of trust that you have in God. Oh, yes. If you're born to serve, you have God's promise that wherever you go, oh, He going to oh, be with you. Oh, yes. Yes. If they take the wings of eagles, and fly in the sky. Behold, God is there. Y'all didn't hear this before, did you? If they go to the depths of the sea, God is there. He'll wipe the tears from their eyes. He'll encourage them that are low. He's right there by his side. Those who've been born to serve have God's assurance that he going to supply your every need. I read about it in the book of Philippians. My God shall supply all of your needs through his riches and glory. If you've been born to serve, those that serve, God told them in Luke, if then God so clothed the grass, how much will he clothe you? If you've been born to serve in the church, I heard John tell him, in my father's house are many mansions. I go to prepare a place for you. I heard a songwriter say, come and go to my father's house. There's joy in my father's house. If you've been born to serve, don't let your service be boarded by mortar and bricks. Don't let your service be determined by the color of your clothes. Don't let your service be determined by where you serve. Don't worry about the office you hold. Don't worry about the title that you got. I heard an old man say one day to serve this present age, my calling to fulfill. Oh, my made powers engage my master's will. I don't know about you, but I found out that good things happen when you serve the Lord. I found out he'll take away darkness and turn it into light when you serve the Lord. I found out that he'll take your defeat and turn it into victory when you serve the Lord. I found out that he'll take your sadness and turn it into gladness when you serve the Lord. Serve him as a usher. Serve him as a greeter. Serve him as a singer. Serve him as a 
as a trustee. Serve him in the Sunday school. Serve him as a deacon. Serve him as a youth worker. Do the work of an evangelist. Tell a dying world about a man named Jesus. Serve him by telling somebody he died on Calvary. Serve him by telling a dying world early Sunday morning. He got up with all power in his hand. Serve him. Serve him. Let God bless you. Serve him. Serve him. Let God heal you. Serve him. Serve him. Let him turn things around. I don't know about you. I started serving Jesus a long time ago. When I started serving him, he picked me up, turned me around, set my feet on solid ground. I used to be sad, but when I started serving, he quit clapping in my hand, dancing in my feet. I got joy, joy from serving the Lord. Ain't he all right? I will serve the Lord until I die. I will serve the Lord at my last breath. I will serve the Lord. When you stop serving, I'm going to serve. When you stop giving, I'm going to give. Ain't he all right? finding it, you need to talk to me. But you need to find something to do. We don't have no bench players in the church. Amen. 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 Ain't nobody no backup sitting around on the bench waiting for somebody else to mess up. Talk about it. You need to find yourself something to do. Use your gifts. That's why God gave them to you. And don't mess around and wait till you get too old. Come on, talk. Y'all getting quiet on me now. Uh, you can't walk hardly no more. Now you feel like you want to try to serve the Lord. Amen. You done ran around all you can ran around, and now you want to decide to serve the Lord, and you ain't no good to nobody. Amen. They got to almost carry you up in here. Amen. Amen. Get to work now. Amen. Serve the Lord while you still have time. Yes. Amen. Yes. While you got energy in your body, while you yes. while your mind can remember yes. things and, and God can use the talents that He gave you. Don't wait till you can't use your hands. Alright, Jesus. Y'all don't hear what I'm talking about today. The Bible told me that if you serve the Lord, make yourself useful to the Lord. He'll extend your life. Yes, yes, Lord. All of y'all trying to do all kinds of things. Y'all got the, 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 the keto diet, the California diet, and this thing and that thing, and you got you're taking these pills and that pills, trying to extend your life. Amen. Amen. God said He'll extend your life if you just commit yourself to serving Him. Amen. Y'all gonna have church with me today. Yes. Yes. Amen. I'm just trying to challenge you. Don't get mad at me because I'm trying to challenge you. Amen. Amen. I know the Lord.
Sometime y'all don't hear what I'm talking about today. Would it be one today? Hallelujah! I look like we all home for God. Recognize all of you at least. Amen. 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 Listen, pray with me, Father God. You've done so many wonderful things. Yes. Father, I'm asking right now that whatever the need be in this place, that you meet it in the name of Jesus. Somebody's dealing with physical issues. Lord, you touch that thing. Matter of fact, you're touching it right now. Father God, right now, for somebody else, it might be financial. Right now, Lord, I ask you to touch that situation. I know you're working it out right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Your name, Father. Father God, right now, there might be family or relationship issues right now in this place, Lord. Lord, we ask you to infuse that situation with your Holy Spirit. Father, right now, give a blessing upon all those that desire, all the sick, wherever they may be. Sister Dorothy McBride, wherever she may be. Sister Martha Black, wherever she may be. Sister, uh, 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 Sister Watkins, right now, in the name of Jesus, touch that situation right now. Father, we know you can do it. We know you already have. Father, give us a heart to serve. May the grace of God, the love of Jesus Christ, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest, rule, and abide with each and every one of us. It's forth now and forevermore that the people of God say amen. 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 amen.